So, it's good to be back. It feels like a long time since we've done another video, but we're back on the channel again. And we're staying local tonight because um, one of the things I'm doing tonight is I'll be presenting the man of the match. So, we will get some of that in there. But we're doing a real six-pointer tonight. Hartworth against Glatwell. And it's hard to think that a couple of years ago, these two teams were the best of the rest in, in central mids. But tonight... It's going to be huge. It is going to be huge. But I'm looking forward to this. And like I said, we've got some behind the scenes stuff with Man of the Match stuff and everything else going on at the football club. So sit back, enjoy it, and we'll see you in an hour. Well, mate, you're part of the under 21s that won the league. How did you feel then to lift that trophy? It was brilliant, can't wait to lift it. Thursday night form, one more game left. Hopefully get another win. Go to Invincibles, win the league. Ten clean sheets so far this season. So yeah, it's been a good year up to yeah. And when you think about the pathway as well, from the 21s to the first team, where there's a lot of chances that a lot of the young players get, how much of a big opportunity for yourself as well? The club offers a lot of opportunities, to be honest. It's a, a very pushing club, like, it gives you plenty of opportunities. There's a lot of hard work that goes on behind the scenes, on the ground. Big clubhouse and pavilion behind me. There's a lot of hard working people. It's a good club. It's run well. It's like a family. Here. So I'm in the sponsors lounge right now because I am the official sponsor of tonight's tonight's game, which is madness. But honestly, a big big thank you to Harworth. They didn't have to do this, but this is just fantastic. Um, as part of the company I work with, we're sponsoring the game tonight, which is amazing. So, take you a little tour around this. I mean, yeah. I think I've got the title of the video. I became the match day sponsor of a game. Badness. So I've come out to the ground, to the pitch. I always like coming back to Harwick, I really do. This, I've always said this ground is ready for step six. They've got everything you need, so it's perfect. Absolutely perfect, so top notch. One thing I'll say though, is like, it's such a role reverse, because like a couple of seasons ago, this would have been like fifth versus sixth, or fourth versus fifth. So to see the two clubs where they are, it's, it's staggering. But I like to hope that Certainly, in the longer run, certainly going to next season, that these two clubs are challenging at sharp end at pit, uh, pitch. No, table, that's what I meant to say. Why am I saying pitch? It's just. No. It's going to be good tonight. I'm really, really looking forward to this. It's going to be good. I'm going to go 3 2 to Harworth. I say. They haven't won. I'll tell you what. Oh, we've not won on the channel for a while. So, I say we've got well. Both teams need a win on the channel, that's for certain. But yes, first off, starting now. Go on, now, let's do this then. Let's do it. Look at that. They've got their own GoPro. I might have to get one of them at some point, but uh, it's a handy piece of kit, that. Here we go. Well, that's not bad. Oh, it's off the line. Where's Golan Technology when you need it? Oh, it's an air kick. Still got it. Got touching cross then. Oh, he's done him. Oh, he's sold him. He sold him. Wowzers. But how's he touch? No, oh, he's he's trying to be too cute there. Mm, no chance. Oh, look at that. Touch across then. First time. Free header. Keeper had that one covered there. From a distance, Harworth's goalkeeper kit looks like Forest Green's own kit. Oh, he's in. Surely. A great goal, but mistake. That's what happens when you're down at the bottom, though. That's cute. If my dad was here, he'd be saying that that's me catching up to him. <laughs> nice, nice, big quality. What a ball! Oh, what a save! 
on. Do you know what? <laughs> Oh wow. Do you know what Cape is so unlucky? So unlucky. It's probably when you're down at bottom, things like that just, just go against you. Yeah. Yeah. Been there, done that. There it is, I spot another dog at the football. There it is. Go on then, what's he gonna do? That sounds like his battle cry. Here comes the pace. Ooh, that's a foul, isn't it? Yeah, the waggle of the finger, yes. He's done to me, he's done to me. I'm not going to lie, that really triggers me. The fact that all the Harvard players are warming up in like, what do you call it, cherry, red. And you got one that just wants to be, you know, the odd one out in yellow. Come on, come on, nation lads. Absolute fucking disaster. Coming back at like hundreds. Oh, they scored. They've got the goal. Oh, the comeback's back on here. 2-1. That's a great header, to be fair. Len. Oh, he's in. Surely. Save, surely. Come on, Sue, Sue. Do Ronaldo, no. Why has he not done Ronaldo? That would have been real kick it teeth, that. 3-1. Come on, have a go at him. Oh, he's done him. Oh, he slipped. He's done Steven Gerrard. There we go. First half all done. 3-1. It's been decent. Do you know what? It's been a good game, man. Do you know I expected a lot of goals. It has been good. Some at quality. Some at finishing has been good. And there's been too many mistakes. But the problem is, when you're down at the bottom, things like that just don't go for you. I mean, a bit like Darwin Nunez's header. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see if it's second. Go then, we're back underway. Featuring my biscuit. There we go. Oh, they're in. Oh. Still got it. Oh, what ball? He's in. <laughs> Went near post LP. 4 1. As Nick Buxton would say, wowzers. They're in again. Take him on, take him on. Free kick. It's a free kick. Mm, I think that's a free kick for me. Leave a comments down below, but VAR maybe. VAR probably should have been a penalty. We've had a look, we've had a look back. Here we go. Went for it. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he's missed. That has got to be the worst miss of the season. How's he not scored that? At least put it on target. Go on, him. That's not bad. Back post. Why are you back out? Why did you back out? Shut his eyes, yeah? Go on, him. That's the ball. Go, go. Penalty. Any day of the week, that. Definitely. That other one were, you should have shown him your VAR. <laughs> yeah, should have, should have done, mate, should have done. <laughs> Here we go then. Bottom right. Good pen. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. High fives. Go on, on volley. Oh, nice. Be a quarter then. Back post. He's got, he's got a triangle head. That's what he's got. Here we go. Free header. It's a free header. The six of the best. Sorry, but that's basic defending. Absolute basic defending, but I'll tell you what, fair play I was. <laughs> Six of the best this, this evening. Yeah. Oh. Spoon that one. <laughs> okay. Ooh, you're hard, showing off. Go on then. Oh, no. Oh, he's hugged the post. Here we go. That's not bad. Watch him go. He's unlucky. He's unlucky to be fair. Seven Evan. There we go. All done. We're going to get an interview with the assistant. And, of course, I'm presented man of the match tonight. So, madness. Speak a sec.
Chris, well done tonight. Just a seven, just a seven goals just tonight seven. for, for how? Yes. What did you think of the performance? Yeah, really good. Um, I mean, first half we've been wasteful in possession, a bit slow, uh, played from the back. Um, a couple of long balls going astray, coming again to a strike. But as soon as we got the first, the second calmed us down. The goal we conceded from a set piece, which is not really like us to be fair. Um, can't give them a shot at all. Coming into half time, onto the thirds, we'd like to think put the game to bed. Um, but obviously, 45 minutes is football and anything can happen. So. There's some good goals as well. Was there? Yeah, yeah. Were you pleased with the ruthlessness of the same yeah, time? Yeah, we've, we've been talking about it all season. Really, I mean, it's been coming. Uh, we beat Chester Rugby with 6 0. Uh, other than that, the goals with the games we've won have been about the odd goal here and there. So it's nice to actually get an full tonight, which is. We we'll work on things in training, it's good to see him come to Patricia on a, on a Saturday. Or oh, Tuesday night, actually. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, all time. Yeah. <laughs> well, Gomez got man in the match tonight. How did you see his performance? Uh, I mean, first things first, I mean, he's missed an absolute set of free battery. Same as a match ball getting signed. But, uh, yeah, really good. Direct, like we said. We said to him a lot in there. Um, when you get a chance, just drive the ball back, be direct. Um, Take the thinking out of the game for him, just let him play, raw talent, raw pace, just go out there and do it. And tonight, to be fair, he's got off tune um, as the on Saturday at Stable, and he's, he's took it. He's, he was a bit of a headache, we've got obviously lads coming back, Moza, Cam Till coming back from injury, so he's put himself in the air, in the record of moving forward, which is, which is good. Let's go boom to the weekend then, Yorkshire Main, it's yeah. certainly going well this season, what's your thoughts ahead of that? Yeah, it'll be really tough. Um, on paper, probably his toughest game in the running, we've got 11 left. They're doing well in the fourth in the league, which is um, we've not played them yet this year, so we can't really gauge what they're about. Obviously, we played them twice last year, but it's a different season, different players, different management, different style of play. So, yeah, looking forward to it. But like I said, first time we've gone back to back with wins this season, so it's nice to go into there, obviously, with a, with a lot of confidence and morale's really high in there. It's a really good changing room currently. I mean, with, with brought in a lot of young lads which has helped with the 21s winning the league, that's obviously brought them the confidence through with them and it's bringing it out of the old lads like Corey Goodwin and as a pick out tonight we've got one which will you know, thank you for saying that but um, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, a, it's a really good group right now, it's a really good place to be and hopefully we can carry that on on Saturday. Well done Sam mate. Thank you very much. So that was their thoughts and now here's my thoughts. Um, I thought in terms of the game you know 7-1 you know Harworth were pretty much, you know, they were ruthless in the second half, they really did, they sucked their chance as well. And But for for most of the game, certainly in the first half, I thought Gladwell were in it, they really were. Um, but the problem is, you can see it, you can just see that, that step up in quality, which, you know, it, it, it just showed in the end. I mean, Gladwell, I, I do feel sorry for them in a way, and the fact that they're having to rebuild the entire squad and having to start again from scratch. It's just, it's crazy. But I really hope they they get back to where they were the last couple of seasons where I've seen them and where they finished. I really do. But overall, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Harworth for the hospitality tonight. Um, they didn't have to, you know, make me a match a match day sponsor, and they did. So thank you so much. Um, it's a really, really good experience I've had there. So, amazing, amazing. But yes, if you enjoyed this, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we've got a massive game on Saturday.